broad-based uh, line of the more op uh, oppositional children, actually the frontal striatal, and then a more uh, and then a different set of things in the brain, more the areas that are controlling emotions in the brain, involved with perhaps the more emotional kind of behaviour problems. So we do find there's some spe specificity in the kind of brain changes that we find. What are the implications for this? Well, I think there are implications. For instance, in uh, the experience of having ADHD um, and what children say uh, about it. Do they say, my thoughts are in a muddle? Actually, adults say this. Adults with ADHD say... Uh, they have a rather unpleasant experience of their thoughts disappearing before they've finished, not following a train of thought, and one thought interfering with another thought, like inhibition is, is not working very well. Um, uh, children will say it if they respond well to medication. And at that point, they'll say that the, the treatment is showing the difference. They'll often say, I get into trouble a lot, I don't know why, other kids pick on me, I've got a bad temper, I can't concentrate, I've got ADHD. So the experience of ADHD um, is not great. The, uh, they're getting into trouble, not because of wickedness, as the original ideas that I was showing, but because of an, uh, because of an inherent failure in doing it. Now, the kind of problem is one that I invite you to do now in one of the tests uh, that we use to show children the kind of problem they have. So I'm now going to show you six pictures that will be rather like this one, and I want you to say, and perhaps to shout out, which of the pictures is most like this one, Okay. Difficult? <laughs> well, the point is that I gave you the amount of time that children with ADHD use to solve the, the problem. That three was a very quick reply. The, uh, the, the, uh, uh, that's very good. But most people take about 10, 